The situations in which you would use an inoculant would include when you're making maize silage and the dry matter will be above 30% or when you're making maize silage and the maize has either had a challenging growing period or you're experiencing challenging harvesting conditions such as floods or drought or frosts. Farmers would know which inoculant to choose based on the challenges that their May silage would face. If May silage is above 30% dry matter, the main challenge is that the crop tends to be aerobically unstable when you feed it, which means the silage heats up when you open the clamp. Then they would use an inoculant that contains stability enhancing bacteria. If the crop has faced very wet or stressful growing conditions, or it's very wet during harvesting, then the maize will likely be below 30% dry matter, which means they would need to use an inoculant that contains some bacteria that would promote the uh, drop of the pH, and then bacteria that helps to give stability to the maize when it's being fed. So you would use a different type of inoculant in that situation. Farmers should consider using Magneva Platinum Maize when the maize has grown under ideal conditions and the farmer foresees no problems during harvesting. This will mean that the crop coming into the clamp will be of ideal quality and there will be plenty of starch and sugar available to drive the fermentation. What the farmer then needs is something to help keep that quality once he's feeding the silage. And in Magneva Platinum Maize, we have stability enhancing bacteria that help keep the silage cool during feeding. A farmer would consider using Magneva Platinum Maize Elite when the plant has undergone some kind of a challenge during its growth, which means that perhaps the cobs haven't developed quite as planned or the plant is slightly less mature than you'd want it to be during harvesting. That then means you're not bringing the ideal quality of plant into the clamp and that might need a little bit of help with the fermentation, which is why we include some uh, acidifying bacteria in Magneva Platinum Maze Elite, as well as the stability enhancing bacteria. And then to help the, the fermentation even further, we include enzymes as well. The enzymes will release sugars that the bacteria can use to drive the fermentation. And whilst they do that, they increase the fiber digestibility as well. Magneba inoculants are very easy to apply. We provide the inoculants in different sachet sizes to treat different tonnages so that the farmer can tailor the amount of inoculant he needs to match the acreage that he's hoping to harvest. And then the inoculants are also formulated to be highly dissolvable and contain a carrier that helps to keep the bacteria in suspension once it has been dissolved. Another benefit of the Magneva Forage Inoculant range is that all of our products are suited to low volume application, which means a volume of as low as 10 milliliters per ton can be applied to the crop, meaning less time spent filling up the applicator tank and more acres covered with a single tank. The benefits that producers can see for their animals when using a Magneva Platinum Forage Inoculant is that maximum retention of nutrients from the field to the clamp to the feed bunk and that's because with Magneva Platinum Forage Inoculants you manage the fermentation of the crop so that it happens as efficiently as possible and then during feed out you have provided the right type of silage that remains stable during feed out so that the most nutrients that you've now preserved will reach the animals in the feed bunk. An inoculant can help reduce the risk of mycotoxins impacting silage quality by controlling the amount of yeast and molds in the silage. Mycotoxins are produced by molds and mycotoxins are only produced when molds are stressed. And this can happen at two phases, either when the plant is in the field and there are stressful growing conditions or in the clamp as the crop ferments. So by treating the crop, you reduce the risk of mycotoxins being formed during the fermentation by controlling the moulds.